The Von Eriks were the most prominent and popular pro wrestling family of the 1980s. And the story of this dynasty is being shared in a new film. People said my family was cursed. Mom tried to protect us with God. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. He said if we were the toughest, the strongest, nothing could ever hurt us. We're here to restore justice to the wrestling federation that our father built with his own two hands. The hands that were passed down to us. The hands that will deliver the iron claw to you. I should have stopped him. I need to think about my family. Your job is to wrestle. Live up to that deal or we are through. I told you to look out for him! I just love being out there with you guys. It's the only thing that matters to me. Oh, wrestling fans are going to love this one. It's called The Iron Claw. And Kevin Von Erich's sons, Ross and Marshall, join us live from Texas. Good morning to you both. Hey, Thank gentlemen. you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Good morning. Appreciate it. Well, I mean, Ross, it's, it's a pretty special thing to have your father and his brother's story shared through a film internationally, globally. How involved was your dad with the filmmakers in this process? Um, he didn't have a whole lot... Uh, of say, you know, it was a, uh, he's a public figure. So, you know, they have liberty to do things like that. But, um, but I mean, that being said, you know, the directors and everybody were very cool and, you know, we, we got a chance to see it and it was, uh, you know, everybody's pretty happy with it. Yeah. The, the director being a wrestling fan helped a lot that he already knew the story. So it, it helped a lot. So, you know, Marshall, uh, it's obviously based on that on that story, and as you said, a lot of it's just publicly known and filmed. But with Zac Efron playing your dad, Kevin, how, you've seen the performance. How does he pull it off? You know, I always thought this guy looked like Zac Efron, but <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll see. But, you know, he, he, he did a very good job. I, I didn't know what to expect when I saw the transformation of his body. It obviously showed that he was taking it very serious, sure. and we had to go on the set and meet everybody. They were taking it extremely serious, but being the family, uh, I was telling, we were telling our, our siblings and everybody, you know, of course it's not going to be 100% accurate, but, but they, they they did pretty dang good. It, it was a, a great message, and I'm, I'm I'm excited to see it again. It was. Uh, I wouldn't let down at all. It was a, it was a wow. great movie. Wow. Oh, I'm sure um, that's very comforting for the filmmakers to hear that. Uh, Ross, if you could tell the story yourself, what would you want to highlight about your own dad? Uh, he's not like any other person uh, you've ever met. Honestly, he's kind of reminded me of like a crocodile hunter or something like that. He's just, he's like his own, he's his own person. He's like Tarzan. He's uh he's like got this softness about him, and he's also this this strength. And um, you know, I, I hope that's. I, I think it was pretty well portrayed on the yeah. On the film. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing, Marshall. Your dad is the last surviving brother following the devastating loss of his siblings. I mean, let's talk about being in a wrestling family, especially in those pioneering years when it was just becoming a national sport and people were really starting to focus on it. How would you describe the mark that that family has made in the world? As we wrestle through the years, it's almost been as like a quest to get to know our family members better because we know our dad and we hear stories with him all the time. But once we started going on the road and seeing how the family's affected other people, it's a nut story. It really is a gnarly story It's for one man to endure that much heartache and death. But, you know, my dad, he said something I'll never forget. He said, death can do two things to a man. It can harden you towards the world, make you bitter, or it can make you, make you compassionate for those who suffer. My dad's one of the most compassionate men, but the, the, in the movie, I, I wish his sense of humor was, because he's one of the funniest guys ever. He's always huh. cracking jokes. <laughs> he's impossible to bring into public places. You're going to get embarrassed. It's just how he is, but... <laughs> <laughs> Big dad energy I there. Know. Well, Big dad it, it energy. It really is a huge legacy, and the, both of you are part of it now. Um, Marshall, I understand only a few years ago, 2017, your dad got back in the ring with you. How was that moment? How did that rate in terms of life highlights? That, 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 was, that was the best surprise ever. He, uh, it was almost like a, it was almost like a, a, a training seminar because he was literally telling us what to do <sighs> while we were in the match. We're sitting there talking with him. It was a dream come true for us. And, and the people to see Free Von Erics back in the ring. I think it hadn't been done in 20, 30 years, but that's what my brother and I were trying to do. We want to pick up, pick up, pick up stuff and make the Von Erics a household name again. 
So we're on the journey, we're on the grind now, and we're loving every second of it. Well, good luck, good fellas. It's great to have your insight here. We're so pleased that you guys really love the film, too, and that yeah. it really represents your family. That's great to hear for fans out there, too. Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you out there in the, on the mat. <laughs> you, not us. That's right. Okay. <laughs> not won't us. See us. No, you won't. <laughs> we're not going to be there. I think you mean in the ring. In the ring. Yeah. yeah. On the mat. On the yeah, mat. Do a yeah. suplex and okay. elbow off the top buckle. Yeah, hey, the Iron Claw. This movie looks so good, and as you can hear, then the family love it. It's yeah. set to hit Aussie cinemas in January 18th next year. It looks great, doesn't mm. it? Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?